Alrighty guys, so this is going to be a quick ACT guide on how to install it basically as quick as possible to get it going for you guys. Alright, so right now you want to go to the website, the, download the first link of the setup and the plugin. Run this. Next, install. Close. Cool. Now you have ACT. You need that plugin just for parsing as well for your game. And next you want to download this. This also has the overlay themes and everything. You could also find it on Reddit, which is really a useful place to go if you want your ACT to work. I would recommend if it gets updated just to go to the Reddit and just download the one you need for the version you have for your Windows. And now it's downloading. Now that we have that done, let's move that out of the way. Let's open up two windows here of file explorers. Basically go one to the PC and where ACT is installed. And go to your downloads of where you install the other thing. Just waiting for it to finish on downloading. Let's drag that over here actually. And now that's done. Cool. So we continue. And extract here. And now you can run it from here or you could just run it from your desktop. But before you do, make sure that you go to capability. You're gonna change this to run this program as administrator. Saves you from right clicking and run as administrator, you just left click it. So close all this. Probably wanna to go to general, change this for as fast as you could after 30 seconds. I wanna say 30 seconds is a good amount. Here, custom triggers, uh, anytime a tank buster or a mechanic goes, you can remind yourself what an audio clip or, you know, have fun with it. I like to have an audio clip when I die. And right here, this is where we have the plugins. So, here we go. Oh, wrong one. So, we're gonna add the overlay plugin. Add that one. And then we'll get the Final Fantasy one. Back plugin. Now, add that one. Boom. Either one, it doesn't matter which one goes in first. So now, before we do anything drastic, we want to Go to the overlay for Final Fantasy, hide, clickable through, hide everything here. Because it's all garbage. This is all garbage. Alright, and when we go to the Final Fantasy 14 settings, what I like to do is filter out everything self, party, alliance. No one really cares. If we're going to do rating and stuff, alliance is it's way too big. But, like, you pretty much want this for a rating, I would assume. So you want party, and also you want to combine your pet owner. So summoners and scholars can know what they're doing. And that's pretty much it. Uh, but other than that, we'll get to the skins in just a second. Now let me load up my game. All right, so you basically loaded up 14, and now uh, you go hit a striking dummy. And boom, there it is, but it's all the way up here. If you're asking, how do I move this? Uh, well, you make sure that these are unselected, and you can move it. And once you find a nice spot, you can put it anywhere you want. Put it there, for example, for right now. And also, you could choose your skin once you click on that button right there, and go to Resources, and find out which skin you like the most. I typically like this skin a lot. And now I have to move it and edit it myself, but I think it's really nice, easy to use, because I like that you could change your name with it. So let's put my username. You could also change the color of what, what you want. So like zero, apply, you know. Let's get purple. And boom. There you go. Change it. It's pretty cool. Um every other class has their own little like colors and everything. And then once we get that done, you were wondering what is up with this timer. You don't really need that. You could just hide it unless you want it, of course. That's totally different, but I, I just use this for parsing, and that's pretty much it. Probably the most easiest video ever to installing ACT ever. Have a good one.